Monday. Well, thank you for joining me again this morning for another week of devotions together. Uh, we'd like to do this theme where whatever it is that, that God has preached to us uh, for the week, we, we live that out with our devotions and coffee every morning. Uh, we need God and we need coffee. <sighs> Uh, this week, I didn't preach. Uh, Bishop Eaton was gracious enough to preach the entire ELCA this past Sunday, uh, and Holy Trinity, no less, which, thank you, Bishop Eaton, if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> but, you know, uh, we may have saved for next year's sermon, but you'll forget by then, probably. Uh, that Martin Luther talked about preaching uh, on the Trinity was walking the tightrope. Of heresy, right? One wrong step, and you're you're in heresy. Uh, <clears throat> it is a, a fascinating topic, and I really, uh, and reflecting here on this Monday, I I really like what Bishop Eaton had to say. This idea of uh, Trinity being God with relationship with God's self as, as Father, Son, and, and Holy Spirit, um, or she also referenced Creator, Redeemer, and, and Advocate, right? Who want different names for such that describe the Trinity, right? Um, but she also made this poignant um, uh, declaration that not only are we, all who are baptized, she said, are, are in are communion with this God. We're in communion with each other. This is true when we take communion, obviously. We talk about that we're in communion with God and with all the generations of the faithful, those who have come, who are living, and those who uh, have not yet been born in our time talk about being in communion with our brothers and sisters in Christ in Scripture all the time, right? This idea that we are the body of Christ connected with God. And Paul talks about how uh, the decisions we make as individuals affects those who are in the same body with us, right? If something happens to your hand, you're going to feel it in other parts of your body. It's going to send messages to other parts of your body, right? It's all an interconnected system. And so God teaches us that how we are connected as human beings. It's the same way. And of course with God. And with creation, Bishop Eden says. I really like the idea of this, this vast web of interconnectedness that is the world that we live in. It's a good message for these times. When it can be easy to blame an other. It can be easy to maybe have family members or friends that different views in an election year. It's easy to write them off as different. But our God teaches us that we are one body and what uh, the other people do and what we do affects each other. We shouldn't be writing off anyone. In fact, I think that this week, uh, hearing Bishop's sermon and, and praying and thinking about what to, to do in the coffee videos this week with you, I think that might be good to learn and hear uh, from other parts of the body. Maybe the parts of our human experience that we're not as familiar with. Um, each each day, I'm gonna I have picked out some, some resources that are that will be helpful in this. Obviously, we can't cover all the aspects. Just kind of get started, and and it'll be more focused on what we're looking at now with uh, the struggle of racism. Hatred and strife in our country around that, um, but I, I I hope that this will serve as a springboard, and better yet, a, a guiding theology of what Bishop was preaching. We are one, right? We talked about a couple weeks ago. We are one as a church. We are one as as a human family, that's vibrantly diverse, that has many different lived experiences. We should be all love one another even if we don't always agree, <laughs> even if we don't see things from the same uh, perspective. And different parts of our body interact with the world differently. They're never going to necessarily always interact the same way, but there's a commonality in Christ that there is to be had. So all week, I'm going to be giving you uh, different resources on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. i got three sets, so to speak, picked out. Um, and then Friday, I'm going to ask you, what resources do you have that speak to a different part of our human family? So, I look forward to walking with you 
this week. Why don't we pray to center ourselves this week? Holy God, creator, redeemer, and advocate, guide us this week. Help us to live in community with all of the human family and with you. Help us to learn and understand perspectives and voices that are different from our own. Give us empathy. Give us knowledge. Grant us understanding and love. In your holy name we pray. Amen. I look forward to this week with you.